What's going on guys and welcome to a new video and for those of you that follow me on Instagram will know that last week I was actually in Bangkok um, so there hasn't been a YouTube video for quite a while now on my channel just thought I'd give you guys uh, a quick update you know where I've been why I went there stuff like that um, so like I said last week I was in Bangkok um, the time of uploading this will be Monday the time of recording this is Sunday um, so this video is recorded yesterday and you guys have seen it today um, all of last week because I got back uh, last night on the Saturday so all of last week I was in Thailand in Bangkok we left uh, Sunday morning extremely early got a 10 hour direct flight from Amsterdam to Thailand and uh, the reason for going was um, Affiliate World Asia, which is a massive digital marketing conference. Um, the name where he says that, you know, it is focused on affiliate marketing, but there's, it's so much more than what I originally thought affiliate marketing was. This is the second time I have been to this conference. The first time I went, it was when it was in Barcelona, um, called Affiliate World Europe. This was Affiliate World Asia. Um, you know, both times absolutely just mind blowing by the amount of opportunity that that there is out there. Um, you know, the first time I went, I had no idea about anything in terms of affiliate marketing. When I think of affiliate marketing. I think of promoting a product or service that I believe in uh, with an affiliate link. So for example, I use ClickFunnels, which is a software that I use to build landing pages. And you know, if I recommend that to other people, I send them my affiliate link, uh, which they can use. And then basically I get commission of ClickFunnels um, for, you know, basically referring someone else onto that service. So the person that uses the link uh, basically gets a link with my referral, you know, link or code attached to it. Um, ClickFunnels obviously get the, um, you know, the, the, the cost of their software and then I get a small percentage of that for referring you know, that person onto it. And that is basically what I thought affiliate marketing was and I didn't think of it um, you know, I didn't think there was any, anything more than that. You know, obviously you can do it on a large scale if you, for example, if you run ads to you know, click funnels, then obviously more people will see it. More people will use my referral link and I'll earn more money on the back of that. Obviously, if, uh, let's say, for example, I get no idea, let's say 100 euro commission uh, for click funnels for referring someone, no idea what it is. Um, let's say I get 100 euros and I can refer someone onto it for 30 euros, then obviously that is profitable and then you can scale the ads and earn money from affiliate marketing. Okay, that is, so literally that is what I thought affiliate marketing was in its entirety. I didn't think there was anything more to it, but it, like the first time I went to Affiliate World Europe, so the one in uh, Barcelona, I realized that it's a massive, massive industry. Um, and not only is it affiliate marketers, which, um, you know, I, I, I can say that affiliate marketers are people that are working from their laptop um, and, you know, they basically earn money for referring other people. But above the affiliates, there's actually networks. And above the networks, is actually, you know, also... Uh, like huge corporations that are buying and selling data. Um, so it, it's, it's actually so much larger than I originally thought. So quick example, um, what I found out in Barcelona was that there's actually people buying and selling um, you know, leads um, in the form of what they call sweepstakes. So what, the, what they basically do is you've got huge corporations and guys like literally a lot of companies that are just usual everyday companies, you know, large banks, energy providers, they basically buy leads off of networks. So what they do is they buy, let's say a thousand leads a day off of networks and then per lead, they, um, you know, the networks, they charge nine euros, okay? So as a transaction, a thousand leads, 9,000 euros goes to the network. And then the network to generate the leads, they actually ask the affiliates to generate the leads for them. And they say, listen, you can give away, let's say a free PlayStation, a free gift card, a free voucher, a free, you know, whatever trip to, you know, uh, New York or a trip to Bali, whatever. And uh, for every lead that you generate by, you know, giving away that, um, we will give you two free euros for example okay that's called a sweepstake flow and um you know someone actually does win that trip but the most important like thing of that whole flow is to generate those leads so what then people do is they set up facebook ads um you know to a landing page and they say listen do you want the chance to win a trip to bali or do you want the chance to win a free playstation all you need to do is fill out your name email address and telephone number and you could be you know the lucky winner Okay, every single time someone fills out their details, the affiliate gets two, three, four euro, 
and then that uh, that that lead gets passed on to the network. The network sells it on for nine euro, and then you know the large corporation has then got a lead. Okay, and then everyone everyone in the flow wins. Someone also wins that PlayStation, and all the data is passed on. Okay, now for me that was mind blowing. The fact that that's actually you know a, a thing because again that is I when I think of affiliate marketing I just think of affiliates, but these are large multi million euro dollar networks and multi million euro companies that are doing this okay so that was one of the first like most mind-blowing things that i realized in barcelona um and then obviously you know affiliate world asia everything just came together even more you know i had the chance to dine with um some of these network owners you know uh, literally we got invited onto uh, one of the highest rooftops in barcelona uh, not barcelona in bangkok sorry and you know you're basically just looking around and everyone at the table is a multi-millionaire you know people are earning at least 100k a day with you know affiliate marketing either as a network um you know buying and selling data or just as a very very uh, successful affiliate or you know someone who's basically earning money in between the lines of buying and selling the data on or you know generating affiliates for those networks okay because that is another part of the spectrum there's also a lot of co or a few companies out there that rather than basically selling the data as an affiliate or training affiliates to pass onto the networks because you also need to be approved by these networks um, and then earn money off the back of that so they sell the affiliates and then they also earn commission on the back end um, you know off of what the affiliate basically pro you know produces for the network okay that might be a bit um a little bit confusing for you guys but you know basically everyone is earning money by buying and selling data and by uh, paid traffic on the internet you know and it's not only facebook it's not only google you know there's people earning money with almost every platform uh, we also got a lot of inf inside information about tiktok and their um you know basically the equivalent of facebook ads on tiktok and stuff like that like uh, there's also rumors going around about an ipo for tiktok somewhere um you know in the next year so a lot of exciting stuff going on in the digital marketing you know, space and you know there's a there were a lot of like important top dogs of the whole digital marketing world at that conference and like i said you know i also got the chance to wine and dine um with a few of net you know a few of the network owners uh, and basically you know you're looking around at the table and you can see the owner of a company in singapore that is doing millions of dollars a year you've got the owner of like the the european part of it again same thing you know and then again with the us and you're basically you're surrounded by all these top dogs and you know you're, you're looking around like past our table you've got the view of like bangkok you know the the, the skyline and stuff like that it's absolutely amazing and you know it's surreal to to go from you know just working in my own office in amsterdam to all of a sudden being in bangkok and seeing all of that uh, but it just brings like so much motivation from actually being there um you're just the fact that that is possible and the fact that you know i'm, I'm basically no one special you know at least that's what i i don't consider myself uh, any smarter than, than you guys you know the people are watching this you know it's just that i i was in the right situation at the right time and i also grab grabbed the opportunity when you know it was offered to me um obviously i you know i did need to get my um affiliate world ticket but once you're there you're basically surrounded by like-minded people and things do you know uh, quickly scale from there because once you're surrounded with people that are like-minded or people that are smarter than you people that are more successful than you you basically you know it, it slowly rubs off on you and you become the average of that network and as soon as you uh, basically surround yourself with those people other other like networks and other people that are on that level or higher you know basically see your face and you know you sort of slowly go up with those people so um you know it's just absolutely amazing to be able to go to somewhere like that and it's also brought back a little bit of the the laptop lifestyle which i really enjoyed um you know i've i've done sort of the laptop lifestyle for the last two years now i've you know i've been to bali i've been to uh, canada i've done a road trip in the us you know i've been all over europe you know working from my laptop and it's been great but um especially after i got back from the us i thought to myself you know it's it's time now to start focusing on building the business again you know really bring it up like i said you know the goal to go from six to seven figures um you know really build up an empire rather than just um you know creating a business 
that basically supports the lifestyle that I want to live. Okay, so I basically had like a shift in mindset from uh, living a laptop lifestyle and living a life on my own terms to, you know, basically set myself a new goal of actually, you know, building a big corporation, a big business. Um, and by going to Bangkok and being able to work, you know, from the pool, it did slowly bring back those vibes of, yeah, I do actually like the laptop lifestyle and I do like to live life on my own terms and be able to do that. Okay, so I'm sort of caught in two minds there, but um, obviously, you know, I have set myself the goal of, um, you know, like basically pushing the agency to the next level um, and obviously, you know, I've now got two extremely large clients, uh, both sort of like consultant gigs um, slash performance marketing. Um, so, you know, obviously I'm still busy to try and push the agency to the next level. But, um, you know, every so often to have a little trip like that, you know, it's, it definitely refreshes the mind and gets me more motivated to, you know, get back and get back on the grind again, stuff like that. So, you know, even though that was a business trip, I do feel refreshed because I sort of got out of my everyday routine um, and, you know, got the chance to network with a lot of very, very intelligent, successful people. And I'm just ready to go again. You know, can't wait. It's it, like I said, it's Sunday at the time of recording this. I can't wait for Monday just to get back in the office and get a lot of stuff done. Obviously, today I'm going to do a lot of work as well. And I have the uh, weekly group coaching call in a couple of hours. Um, for those of you that don't know what that is, basically, we I now offer uh, group coaching, group mentorship, whatever you want to call it. Um, and what you basically get is personal access to me via WhatsApp. You also, you know, get the chance to attend the group coaching calls where you basically discuss a specific to topic for at least an hour where we basically delve into that topic, you know, dissect it and, you know, make sure everyone understands. Uh, it could be anything from outreach to getting results, you know, whatever you guys want. But if you are in the, the, you know, the group coaching then you, know, you basically get to decide what you want to learn on that specific uh, coaching call. Um, like I said, daily access to me. You also get the Lifestyle Design Mastery course and many, many more benefits. Guys, if you're interested in that, by the way, a uh, quick little plug, then it's all linked in the description box down below. If you're not 100% sure that it is for you, then you can also schedule a free call with my team. And basically, um, you know, it's a no strings attached. It's, no, not, it's not a sales pitch or anything like that. It's literally just to see, you know, if we are right fit for each other because... No, I am basically taking you on as a client uh, of my own agency and I am basically going to help you go to the next level in terms of your agency. So, you know, I only like to work with people that are a right fit. You know, there's no point in working with someone, taking someone's money if, you know, I am not confident that that person is ready to go to the next level or if I don't feel confident in myself that I can take that person to the next level. So, like I said, it basically, I'm taking you on as a client and if it's not a right fit, then there's no point in working together. Um, so like I said, if you're unsure about it, then you can also schedule a free um, discovery call with someone on my team. It might even be me, depending on how busy I am that week. Um, and then basically, you know, we can see if we are right fit for each other. But anyway, that's not the reason of this video. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update of Bangkok. Like I said, I was there for a week. Um, I, I went from rooftop bars and high end, you know, uh, dining to also discovering the streets of Bangkok. Um, in terms of the city itself, I wasn't too keen on it. It was very scruffy. Um, it smelled like rotten eggs. It was very clammy. Um, but obviously, you know, from the rooftops, it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, but once you're actually on the ground, you, you realize that it's, it is still, you know, a th relatively third world country. Um, and I don't, I wouldn't go back if it wasn't for business. Um, you know, obviously the whole point of the trip was strictly business, but I wouldn't actually go there, um, you know, just to chill or relax or anything like that. Okay, so anyway, uh, like I said, quick update video. Hope you got some out of it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will be back with uh, multiple uploads a week again, uh, starting from now. So like this video if you got some out of it. Comment down below what you'd like to see from the channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.